Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy of Elf. Welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Today I'm planning for the month of March and my 2019 Recollections Planner from Michaels. And I'm using this March monthly kit that is available in my Facebook group. Um, that will be linked down below. I'm no longer selling stickers on Etsy, but I am selling stickers in my Facebook group. So if you're interested, let me know. I know March is just around the corner. Um, so if you can get your kits ordered ASAP, I can get them in the mail. I also offer priority shipping, etc. And I think going forward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a, like maybe a third page and make, make it so all my kits um, you can make them whatever month you want. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. So let's get started. Now this is size for an Erin Condren vertical, but it will fit <coughs> I Recollections monthly. You just have to do a little bit of trimming. So let's get started. I love this kit. This clip art is so cute. And who doesn't love unicorns? And I wanted to do something with rainbows, etc. for March, but I didn't want to do like a full on leprechaun kind of thing so jesus so i hope you guys are doing well i hear roxy she may come interrupt us <laughs> um i meant to be up and adam today like at seven and i didn't get up till 9 30. so i'm running a little behind just a little bit but it's happening a migraine I still kind of have a headache but I woke up with a migraine and I didn't go to sleep on time either it's like I was so tired when I went to bed and we got in bed like 9 30 and then Rob fell asleep immediately and I couldn't <laughs> I was like no I want to go to sleep why <laughs> I was so mad and then, like I said, I woke up with a daggum headache. And it's like, ugh, well, migraine. And then, so I am drinking a bulletproof coffee. This morning, and if you're unfamiliar, it's basically just coffee with butter and heavy cream. Um, you can do a, a Google search, or you can search... Um, YouTube, if you're interested in learning more, I drink it because I'm on a keto diet. Um, I shouldn't call it a diet because it's basically a way of eating. And um, it's a good way to start my day with some healthy fats. So that's why I like it. So my stickers aren't removable, um, they're on permanent paper, but um, especially with like the plum paper planner paper, you can pull those up all day. <laughs> but um, with this paper, you really can't, but you can if you remove it quickly. So I guess I'll put that pink one in the middle. So I'm going to add the date dots and I normally speed this up, but maybe I won't because I am so slow at this. <laughs> I really, really am. So what I like to do is I just like to fold the paper so the stickers start to pop up and then I just place it down. This placement is where I'm the slowest because if you followed me for any amount of time, everything I do is crooked. It was really bad when I taught and had to do bulletin boards. <laughs> I was friends with somebody and she came in like the beginning of the year and she didn't even work at my school. She, she and I had met at a different school, but we were still friends. And she came to my new classroom and she was like, would you like me to do your bulletin boards for you? And I was like, please, because she was a little bit of a perfectionist and I am crooked as a jaybird. So there you go. Now you know. 
So I have the this monthly kit and another one. It's a hydrangea one. It's really pretty. And like I said, I may go ahead and just redo them because um, they got posted. I need to make sure I'm posting monthly kits the beginning of the month before so you guys have plenty of time to buy them. I haven't worked out a schedule yet. Um, <coughs> so you'll just have to bear with me, but we'll get there. Um, all of the kit, um, all of your purchases of $55 or more um, is getting a free mini kit and I'll try to remember to insert a picture right here or you can see it in the group. It's a Wizard of Oz mini kit so it comes with boxes um, and um, flags and um, boxes, flags, clipboard, um, not clipboard. <laughs> What's it called? The decor. <laughs> Deco. <laughs> oh, my brain. So it's really cute. I really like it. Um, every order does come with a um, sample sheet. So free stickers with every order. But if you spend over $55 each release, there will be a limited edition mini kit for you to get. Um, yeah, I may end up releasing that as a full kit, but it will not be available as a mini kit unless you purchase stickers, so. Can you guys even see this? Probably not. There are so many days. <laughs> there are so many days in March. I mean, the good thing is they're all the same. Well, minus the last three days as February. But still, there's a lot of gosh darn days. Long months are hard months, I think. And maybe just, maybe just for me. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below. They just seem like, I don't know, like January felt like two years instead of just one month. But it also feels like this year has gone by so stinking fast. It's it's just been so fast. So fast. So I did not watch the Oscars. I'm actually filming this on Monday morning. So if you did, more power to you. I hope you enjoyed them. I know Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are trending like crazy today. I haven't seen that movie. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't watched a movie in probably, I don't know. When's the last movie? What's the last movie I watched? Like at a movie theater, I think it was like the last Twilight movie, which is sad. <laughs> but um, no, 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 no. What did Joy and I go see? Oh, we saw Beauty and the Beast in the theater. So I saw Beauty and the Beast in the theater, the live action one with Emma um, Thompson, which was not Emma Thompson. Is it not Emma Thompson? What's her name? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> but so yeah, we don't, I don't, it's too hard now for me to get to a theater just with my walker and blah, 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 and trying to stand in line and then. It's just too much work. Now I have, um, I've been, tr I would love to go with Rob to like Studio Movie Grill. I think he would enjoy that because um, that way we could have a nice meal, watch a movie. But he's not a movie person and they're on, the only thing I've really been dying to see is Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, so we'll see. I cannot wait for the time change, which I was used to be like, I don't want to change, I don't want to lose my hour of sleep. But I know Rob especially, but sometimes me too. I have seasonal affect, you know, where you just like, you just get so depressed because of the season. And he, he gets so depressed because it's dark when he goes to work and then it's dark when he comes home. And I shouldn't say he gets depressed. It just, he gets down. He doesn't suffer from depression like I do, so. Um, I've actually been off antidepressant now since December and I'm actually doing 
pretty good, I think. Um, I'm gonna try my hardest to stay off of them. I am still having issues with my blood sugar. If you guys don't know, um, or if you're new, I'm type two diabetic, and I've been type two diabetic since April of 2006. Um, I was diagnosed in May of 2006, but I've also developed, okay, these, a um, an autoimmune disorder called myasthenia gravis. So I'm on immune suppression therapy. And the therapy causes hyperglycemia, which basically means that it causes my blood sugars to be elevated. And boy, have they been elevated. Holy Moses. It's been bad. Okay, these are missing numbers. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I correct that. Holy smokes, Misty. Come on now. Um, so it's been, it's been rough. And I just realized the other day that it causes immune suppression therapy causes hyperglycemia because this whole entire time I've just been so frustrated because it's like why aren't they playing well together they're not playing well together well yeah they don't play well together and in fact transplant recipients can develop type 2 diabetes just from being on immune suppression therapy which is so scary that you know something that's supposed to keep you alive you know it could also cause you to have a disease that can have some serious side effects. So I go see my regular, my, my endocrinologist put me back on insulin, but I, I don't know. I'm all over the place with it. And if you want to hear more about that, you can follow my at home with Misty YouTube page. Um, I post updates and stuff over there. I try not to talk about it a lot over here just because I want to keep this a happy, a happy space. But sometimes Sometimes I just got to vent, you know what I mean? And I don't want to not share with you guys because you guys are important to me too. Okay, I think I'm going to use all the unicorns. And these are sized just a little different, but it's not horrible. Again, this is size for the Erin Condra, not the the Happy Planner. I mean, the Happy Planner, the Recollections Planner. So it's not 100% perfect, but I didn't want to invest in Erin Condra this year. I just, I just didn't want to do it, Captain. I just didn't want to do it. So I know that I have a doctor's appointment first. I'm on Fentermine um, and I have to go see him once a month, but I think I'll probably not be on Fentermine if I'm going to be on insulin. It seems kind of counterproductive. See what I mean about crooked? <laughs> Holy smokes. Holy smokes. And see, it pulls, it pulls up. You, you know, you can adjust it just a little bit. Hopefully that's not too dark. Or too light. I had that issue the other day with my cards I was making. All right, let's pull up March's calendar and see what the heck is going on for today. Or this month, I mean. Let's see. The 10th. Holly. Oh, that sounds like... I don't understand what that is. <laughs> okay, Rob goes to the dentist on March 21st. All right, we're back on track. 
he, I think he's going to switch dentists. So it's like, uh, did you know? I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Just in case he decides to stick with them. But he, he started going to the dentist that I've been going to. And he has not had a good experience with them. Which is sad because I've had nothing but a fright. You know, my experience with them, with them has been fine. So I don't know what they're their problem is but got my birthday on Palm Sunday hmm. wait that's April <laughs> I was like wait a minute that's April so it looks like that's really all that we have going on huh So I spring forward on the 10th. When's the first day of spring? The 20th or the 21st? How come I can never remember that? Mm. I love the Southern Pecan Coffee from Green Mountain. It's so good. If you, it doesn't, I don't get pecan from it. I just get like, a really nice coffee. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. I shouldn't even be drinking it because of the medication I'm on. But some days you like when I have a really bad migraine, like I have to have caffeine after it or I just don't do well. So, and I don't have any soda. March 20th. I knew it was the 20th or the 21st. I just... Memories. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and put down my therapy appointments. Go every Wednesday at 11. When do I see my neurologist? Is that not in March? I have too many doctors, y'all. No, I don't have anything in March. That's so crazy. Well, except for a doctor. My doctor on Friday. I mean, it's good. I'm not trying to go to the doctor. You know? And then I need a payday sticker for the 21st. And then I need a payday sticker for the this day. For the 15th. <coughs> Excuse me. The 23rd. <laughs> it looks like we have 5,000 paydays. I guess we kind of do. I always get like a little tiny check from YouTube. I mean, it's like little and tiny. Um, I've also been getting some money from Facebook because I participated in one of their a program for creators. So <clears throat> that's been helping since I don't have the Stampin' Up! money to kind of offset some of our bills. So that's why I reopened my sticker shop so I can help, help have some money coming in because it's hard on us, but it is what it is. That's been one thing that has been really hard for me is dealing with guilt because I'm disabled. I can't, I'm disabled. I can't work. And so I carry a lot of guilt that I can no longer really contribute to our house because I had a good job, <laughs> a master's degree. I had, a, you know, a really good paying job. We were doing great getting out of debt and it's like, boom, <laughs> boom. Oh, overtime nights. What am I going to use for Rob's overtime nights? <laughs> What am 
Oh, I was going to add my couches. So I... So these are some of my um, functional stickers. Got some keto ones, birthday ones. I use the couches for my... Um, a lot of these I use on my weekly spread. And um, I use the couches for my therapy appointments. Um, I think I'm gonna make little robots for over time for Rob. I used to use some little um, what are they called? Piggies, piggy banks um, from Libby Co. But I don't have those stickers anymore. So does she even still make stickers? I am so far removed from the planner community lately. I don't know which way is up. <coughs> so let's go with something past. Tell. Let's do this yellow. We'll do yellow. So what I love about these little couches is that it's a discreet way to mark that you have a therapy appointment. So, you know, if you post your spreads and you don't want people to know all of your business, or if you, you know, use your planner at work or something like that, like if someone else is going to see your spread and you don't want them to know what it is, then just put a, a therapy. I put a little couch down. I wish I had this couch. I'm trying to talk my friend Jason into getting one. Um, I found a gorgeous one on Wayfair because he wants new furniture. And if you guys didn't know, I love to decorate. <laughs> like, I'm so sad. I only have two more rooms in my house to do. But I love to decorate. And I found him this beautiful green couch. It's just so pretty. Um... I think it's called a Chesterfield. Is that what they're called? Chesterfield? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Okay, so there's that. Overtime is What are you going to use for overtime for now? I think I'll use... I think I'm going to use the envelopes, which is, you know, really for emails or whatever, but it can be for work. So let's check his overtime days. March 9th. Oh, Rob's birthday. I have lost my damn mind. <laughs> Rob's birthday is this month, Misty. So March 9th, March 12th. March 15th. Oh, he's not working on his, he doesn't have overtime on his birthday. That is a miracle in America. March 21st. He almost always has overtime on his birthday and it makes me sad. Not that we can really do anything because he's smack dab in the middle of midday season. He's a proofreader. So for a tax company and they are right in the middle of busy season. 21st, 26th, and 29th. 26th. And 29th. Anyway, the reason why I thought it would be funny to do robots is because when I very first got into planning, this was before there were any Etsy sticker shops, you know, Chrissy and Design, any of that. Um, I made my own stickers and it, I put Rob OT and everybody's like, what's robot? <laughs> so I thought that would be cute. Maybe it's not. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Oh, birthday. Rob's birthday. Misty, Rob's birthday. How can you forget your husband's birthday? How? Well, I didn't forget it. <laughs> I just forgot to put it on the calendar. And he's going to want to go eat. But he hasn't decided. I've been after him to decide. I already know what I want. I'm going to Steve Fields for my birthday. Well, if we have the money. Um, that's the one time of year that we splurge our birthdays and, um, our anniversary is when we kind of splurge. Okay. So let's get this filled out. So I go to the doctor at 9, 850. Wow. 
why you gotta make a dentist appointment for 7 a.m.? I think Rob will be 55. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. Like I said, if you're interested in any of these monthly kits or any kits that you may see me use, make sure you join the Facebook group. Um, I do ship internationally, and um, we can you can pay via PayPal. We can pay via Facebook. We can do it via Apple Pay, whatever we need to do. So yeah, so thanks so much for joining me guys. The link to the Facebook group will be in the description box down below and I'll see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.